Hey, it's Dr. Melissa. This week we've been talking about how your why points towards your future. And today we're specifically talking about how you can use your why to shape your priorities. If you've listened over the weeks, you know we've talked a lot about prioritizing you and about scheduling those priorities. And we've also talked about finding your why. More than your passion, more than your purpose, your why is why you are here. And when you know what it is, it very clearly shapes your priorities in a way that you know what are those most important things to put on your calendar, on your timeline, to invest your energy, your time, your financial resources in. When you know what your why is, it makes the rest of that very clear. I did why work a few years ago with a woman whose why was to connect with those who are struggling to find their place in the world, to take a stand for them, to help them embrace their unique gifts and find their own value. It's a really powerful why, right? I'm going to say it again. It's to take a stand for those who are struggling to find their place in the world so that they know their value and can embrace their unique gifts. Now, when she's going forward, there's a lot of different what's she could choose to do, right? The sky's the limit. And our soul tells us our why, but it doesn't tell us what or how we have to do things. We have a lot of free will in that regard. But when she's prioritizing with that why, she knows who she's here to serve. If you're looking for a target demographic, you're looking to niche down, understanding your why and who you're here to serve is huge in terms of moving forward. And it's not only showing who she's here to serve, those struggling to find their place in the world, but how she is here to do it by by helping them know their own value and embrace their own unique gifts. So as she is looking forward to the future and prioritizing tasks and activities and goals, she can choose to prioritize and put things on the calendar that are aligned with her unique why. When you find your why, or if you already know what it is, I encourage you to write it down, post it somewhere where you can see it every day, several times a day. And when all of those things come at you, all those various fires that we're asked to put out, you can then prioritize the things that are aligned with your why, and you can outsource or delegate or just sort of delete from your list the things that are not. Because at the end of the day and at the end of your lifetime, pursuing and prioritizing the things that are aligned with your why are what really matters. I invite you to join us in our Facebook group, The Abundant Tears, where we are creating abundance in all areas of life by aligning our mind, body, and spirit with our why. We would love to have you with us.